We're back with Jean Higgins, film and TV producer. So Jean, through this all, when were you okay with, you're not going to be necessarily acting in these productions, but you're going to be, you know, the PA and then soon to be the producer? I don't think I was probably a wonderful actress. I was probably an okay actress. A friend of mine once told me that I was too organized to be a really good actress. <laughs> I was okay with it the minute I saw the bigger picture. I was literally the last day I ever acted professionally is the day I became eligible to get my Screen Actors Guild card. It's almost three decades later, maybe more, I shouldn't admit. Uh, I'm still a must-join. So it's like you arrived to the dance and you decided not to go? You got it, because there was something better over there. D so. Do you find that as a... For me, for me, which is not to say that the cast we have that are wonderful actors... It's a wonderful thing for them. I mean, for me, it was just better to go a different way. Yeah, I understand that because initially, I, you know, when, as you're growing, you're like, wow, wouldn't you like to be a movie star? And actually, now I see the business side. It's like, wow, that is way more engaging, way more I interesting, actually. It is. And the, the good thing about that part is you don't have a lot of paparazzi and stuff like that nailing you. Well, you, you can be, I never see them having expose on the um, producers. <laughs> it's always on the actors. Not too often. Right. Not too often. Do you find that as a producer, you try to work with um, the same people all the time because you know that how they are and that they're winners and so on? Oh, definitely. But again, because we all work freelance, as a producer, I have, you know, there'll be three soundmen. There will be, you know, this group of cameramen. I mean, even on Lost, we, we have two cameramen. We run alternating directors of photography. It's just too hard a show for the cameraman to do it back to back. They need to see the locations. They need to prepare. But in general, because someone is always, A, not available, or B, given the director or the executive producer's personality, maybe this guy's a little bit better than that guy in terms of the mix, even though the, the abilities and the qualities are equal. Then you have to start looking at, we work very long hours, very hard, day in and day out. Are these two people going to get along better than those two people? So you really almost cast your crew to the project as much as you cast the actors to the part. And then how does that work if um, the creator of the show, do they pitch you to come and work with them, or is it normally the, produce, the, the producers are pitching the creators to work with them? Or is it both? Mm, in my case, I'll be very honest. I was pitching JJ. I wanted to do the show. Very much so. And sometimes, I mean, I get calls and they pitch me. Mm -hmm. But this spring, I just said I was very happy and I wasn't looking. You're kind of working on several, I guess, one project, I'm sorry, one project at a time because, you know, you're focusing on Lost, right? You're not doing Lost and a movie and it's not like a, I guess, like an actor, you know, who could be doing three movies at one time. You tend to do less. I mean, you always have your pet project that is in some stage of development. But Lost itself has become such a machine in two years that where it started out and we just had, okay, we've got Lost. And we're doing each episode. Now we have Lost and we have the Lost publicity. We have the Lost promotion. We have the Lost Mobisodes, which what we call these mobile phone downloads, which is going to be a whole other production. And it just, it's huge. So. Well, I guess where I was going with that is, you know, after a show ends or after a movie, you know, is in the theaters, it's kind of refreshing because now it's, what else can I do now? What's next? What, you know, is that how you feel? To a degree. With me, having come from features mostly, what I used to do with that downtime with features is, how my whole relationship with Disney and ABC grew is that I would go, oh, well, my next feature doesn't really start for a couple of months, and maybe I'll just go do a movie of the week because they would fit in so well. So, Or maybe I'll just go do a pilot. So, That's you know. interesting. There's so many different aspects to this whole thing, yeah? I guess it's just like a business, and but you don't consider it that way as a producer. You think you're just producing the show. But like she said, there's marketing, there's the mobile, there's... Sounds every, exciting. Every, yeah. Yeah. No, it, this is totally a business. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very sort of glib about the numbers, but the numbers are extremely important. The numbers, essentially, you have to look at your ratings. 
your budget's not going to be as big if your ratings are lower because it's always the balance. Then you have to look at the marketing. It's really very interesting as this past year we became the largest show in the world. So, in fact, there are other shows in the United States in the top ten that do better than us in ratings. But when you add all the territories and the countries in the world together, Lost is the number one show. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.